will find you. And I will kill you. Taken is one of those movies that you forget exists for a while, but then you're going back and rewatching, and you're like, man, this is kind of really good. Once again, I want, I want to point out that franchises don't count on this list. Otherwise, the whole entire Taken franchise, it's not good. Second and third one are trash, but we're only counting the first one. It's got good action, it's got good suspense, and it's got Liam Neeson being freaking awesome Liam Neeson, and that's good enough to make our list. Bond. James Bond. Skyfall adds a new twist to the Bond character, dives into his past and makes him a little more interesting. It's got some really good fight scenes and it also has one of the best Bond villains to date. Speaking of really good villains, let's move on to our next pick. You, you complete me. You're garbage, you kills for money. Don't talk like one of them, you're not even if you'd like to be. The Dark Knight, not only in our opinion, is the eighth best action movie of all time, but it's also widely accepted as the best comic book movie of all time. It's a great example of really talented people working together. It's got Christian Bale's acting, Christopher Nolan's directing, and Heath Ledger's acting, which led to him getting an Oscar. And last but not least, a really great story. For that, it definitely deserves our spot on the list. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. John Wick kind of came out of nowhere. It looked like a random action movie, but then you sit down and start the movie, they kill the dog, and all of a sudden you have an amazing revenge story. It's definitely not as good as The Dark Knight, but it's action scenes is where it stands out, with heavily stylized fight scenes combining hand-to-hand -hand combat and guns. I know Kung Fu. Show me. The Matrix is probably one of the most iconic movies on the list. It's got a nice blend of action and story that just leads overall to like a fun 90s sci-fi adventure movie. And plus it's got some of the most iconic scenes and moments in movie history and definitely some great action sequences. Why would you doubt that? If you were in your office right now, we'd be having this conversation face to face. The Bourne Ultimatum is the third installment in the Bourne franchise. It has the action of the second one and the suspense of the first one, plus Matt Damon's really good performance makes just one of the most interesting action thrillers on the list. Our number four pick is a sci-fi movie. Keep guessing. It's a sequel. It's not Aliens. It's arguably better. It's Terminator 2. Jesus, you're gonna kill that guy! Of course, I'm a Terminator. By the way, go fight about that in the comments, which is better, Aliens or Terminator 2. But back to the video, what makes an action movie better? It's stakes. So you gotta get to know the characters, have an interesting concept, and go on a fun ride with them. That makes the action even more exciting. And that's exactly what Terminator 2 does. It's a straight fun time with some horror and some blood and a lot of violence. Not only is it a real good sci-fi movie, it's a real good action movie. It's a real fun, good old, good old Terminator time. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Mad Max Fury Road is pure cinematic action. The movie looks amazing, it's edited really well, and it's directed really well. It's real crazy. It's like Fast and Furious meets Mortal Kombat. I'm saying all these great things about this movie, but why isn't it higher on the list? It's weak point is its story at times. It's very unexplained. You're, so, you're kind of just got to jump in, but otherwise, it's a crazy action adventure. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Raiders of the Lost Ark is about adventures as an action movie can get. It's got fun characters, it's got interesting places, not to mention some shootouts. Just overall, just a real interesting adventure. And you thought The Matrix was iconic. Well, all, well, this movie's even more iconic. It's got all the iconic points, not to mention it's got a nice Spielberg magic. It's kind of spooky, and it's kind of funny, so like, it's got everything. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. 
Die Hard is the best action movie of all time. It's got all the good things about the entries before. It's entertaining, it's got stakes, it's fun, it's serious, and it's action-packed. Sometimes it's not all about how much action is in the movie, it's how they use the action. What's your favorite action movie? Make sure to tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.